Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I said I had a lot of exciting videos coming for February, but school got sort of crazy and I needed to take a break and really focus on school because even though I've got this and said I really want to focus on that and I said I had the MK, I really need to focus on that. School takes priority over both of those as of right now. Um, but yeah, that's what I had going on. Nothing terrible, but I'm sorry. I feel bad, but I'm back and I'm gonna try to do things better this time and be more conscious of my schedule and try to keep things as succinct as possible. But thank you guys for sticking with me and being loyal. Moving forward, I've got some more updates on the MCAT. So, as you guys know, I am taking it on April 21st um, and have been studying for really two months now. Um, but I just want to let you guys know some tips that I was thinking about since I've been, since I started studying for the MCAT. And my first one kind of related to what I just told you guys um, is while you're taking the MCAT or the semester you're preparing for the MCAT, I definitely recommend taking a light course load. I made the mistake and took a fairly normal course load with pretty hard classes. I'm taking physics 2, physical chemistry, um, econ, which isn't too bad, um, and biochem 2. And I'm doing research, so all those combined ended up being a lot more challenging than I thought. So, what I recommend for you guys who aren't in your semester that you're prepping for the MCAT, but a few semesters ahead. I would definitely save some of your gen eds or any electives or easy classes you could have for the semester you're taking the MCAT because that's going to give you so much more time to focus on the MCAT more than school. This is more of a tip for people who are just starting in their college careers or moving from high school to college. Um, it's kind of a note to my freshman self, but if I could go back, I would definitely pay 110 times percent more attention in my classes because the MCAT is divided into four sections. The chemical and physical foundations of biologic systems, CARS or the critical analysis and reasoning skills, biological and biochemical foundations of living systems, psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior, and each one of those sections really encompasses the classes that you're required to take for medical school. That's really why medical schools require those classes, um, which I think is like two semesters of biology, two semesters of physics, two semesters of organic chemistry, you know the gist, psychology, all that kind of stuff. All of those are actually being tested on the MCAT. They're not necessarily helpful in medical school, so I've heard, but they're preparing you for the MCAT. So if you want to start studying as early as possible, the best way to do that and really to save yourself a lot of heartache when you are sitting down three months before your MCAT and studying for it, you got you to pay attention to class and know that material for the long term. Don't just learn it for the test, learn it for your MCAT that you're going to take close to your senior year. So another tip I have is actually from a medical school admissions director who came recently and spoke to us. What she said was to know who you are. Make sure you know what kind of person you are, know how you study. This is all in regards to the MCAT, but just know who you are. Be yourself and focus on yourself. Don't get all caught up in, oh, my friend's taking the MCAT this month, I should take it with them, or oh my god, I'm behind. It doesn't matter just put your blinders up you got to focus on yourself because this is your life and your career um, and I feel like recently I've sort of gotten caught up in the oh god my friends are taking it this day but I feel like I'm not ready for that but you got to take the MCAT when you are ready not when your friends are ready because like I just said this is your life and this is your career and you need to do it for you not for someone else um, and that goes forward in medical school too. Getting into medical school is not all about the numbers. It's honestly about becoming a human and loving humans, just loving other people because you're gonna be a physician, hopefully you're gonna be a physician and you need to be there for people in their worst times. So 
that being said, when you're in college, really enjoy college and find find things that you're so passionate about that make you human. You don't have to be perfect. Physicians aren't going to be perfect. They're looking for people who are resilient and who aren't perfect but can come back from that. Come back from any failure, any shortcoming that you feel happened to you. So keep that in mind in preparing for the MCAT and preparing for medical school. And recently, I was honestly thinking about it. I, I've told you guys, I'm taking the MCAT April 21st, 2018. So in honestly just a short period of time, two months it is as of right now. Um, but I feel like I've gotten, I've lost track of my academics and that's important for right now. And I think I need to move I'm thinking about moving the MCAT back a month, so taking it in the end of May, um, which is fine. I'm going to be taking it later than my friends and later than I initially wanted to, but I need to take it when I'm ready, so be kind to yourself and don't push yourself to take something that one, costs a lot of money, and two, you've got a lot standing on it, but don't push yourself to take it when you're not ready. Um, but on that note, when you are setting up for the MCAT, there are a couple different deadlines that you need to be aware of. The first one is the gold zone scheduling deadline. That is the last date to reschedule at a lower rate and the last date to receive a partial refund for canceling an exam. So that's pertinent to me. So if I want to reschedule my MCAT, it depends on each exam, but when you're signing up for these, be aware. The second one is the Silver Zone scheduling deadline, which is the last date for initial registration without a fee increase in the last date to reschedule. And then the final one is the Bronze Zone scheduling deadline, which is the last date to cancel a reservation and last date to edit registration information such as name, address, says consents, etc. Um, but yeah, keep those in mind so you don't get out of pickle and don't end up having to take your MCAT in Nevada or some crazy place forever away from you. Um, yeah, some teachers at your school won't move exams for you, so be sure you know your test schedule or know that your teacher's okay with you taking the MCAT if it's on a weekday. Um, I have a friend who got stuck with that, so he had to move his MCAT last minute and is taking it not super far away, but further than he would want to, so he has to buy a hotel. But yeah, those are a lot of things you need to consider, which are basically study study your classes ahead of time, use that, use every single class period you have as preparation for your MCAT. Think about those different sections and what classes you need to take. Know yourself and don't get screwed on the deadlines. So. Thank you guys for watching. I am definitely going to be working on some new videos and up in my ante and editing better, learning new things. So a lot of that soon to come. And of course, if I end up moving my MCAT, I will let you guys know. But thank you so much for watching. I'll check in with you guys probably next week. Bye.